Hello everyone. The task here is investigating dual FSM. In this activity, you will modify the EIGRP metric formula to cause a change in the topology. This will allow you to see how EIGRP reacts when a neighbor goes down due to unforeseen circumstances. You will then use the debug command to view topology changes and how the dual finite state machine determines successor and feasible successor paths to reconverge the network. Part 1. Verify EIGRP configuration. Step 1. Examine the routing tables of each router and verify that there is a path to every network in the topology. Enter the show IP route to display the routing table. The load balancing on R1 to the 192.168.10.8 network, R2 to the 192.168.10.4 network, and R3 to the 172.16.3.0 network. Step 2. Verify that each router has entries in its neighbor table. Use the show IPEIGRP neighbors to display the neighbor table. All of the routers have two neighbors. Step 3. Analyze the topology table of each router. Enter the show IPE group topology to display the topology table. Each router has seven successor paths. There are six networks in the topology but each router has two successor paths to one network. For example, R1 has two successor paths to 192.168.10.8. Part 2. Observe the EIGRP dual FSM. Step 1. On R1, turn on the debugging feature that will display dual FSM notifications. Use the debug EIGRP FSM command to enable debugging. Step 2. Force a dual FSM update to generate debug output.
Step 3. Display the routing table of R1. In the R1 routing table, the 192.168.10.8 network only has one route, instead of two. Step 4. Determine the difference in the topology table. The 192.168.10.4-30 is no longer in the topology table and there is only one successor to the 192.168.10.8-30. Step 5. Document changes in each router's neighbor table. R1 no longer has R3 at 192.168.10.5 IP address as a neighbor. Step 6. Restore connectivity between R1 and R2. The route between R1 and R3 on network the 192.168.10.8-30 came back up and adjacencies were formed. That's all. Thank you for watching.